Hey, Busy Bees. Today, we are back with another chapter in our My Word Scroll series, book four, Miss Hannah is Bananas by Dan Gutman. But before we get into our chapter of the day, we're going to get into our riddle of the day. Our riddle of the day is what happened to the man who took a 100 foot dive into a glass of root beer? Okay, and I'll read it again. What happened to the man who took a 100 foot dive into a glass of root beer? And we will get the answer to our riddle at the end of our chapter. All right. So yesterday they end up going to Principal Klutz's office for what happened because Miss Daisy walked in on the situation when they both ripped their paper. Andrea, of course, was very scared because she had never been to the principal's office because she was a good girl. And AJ stated, don't worry because he doesn't punish kids and he's actually a pretty cool guy. Well, in the end, after the conversation with Mr. Klutz, they found out he was a pretty cool guy. If they didn't fight for one day, they each would get to get a candy bar. So let's pop open the book and fly through this adventure together. Chapter 10. And I believe this is our last chapter of this book. This book flew by. The Big Stupid Art Contest. The next morning, I was on my best behavior. I was trying very hard to not say anything mean to Andrea, but it wasn't easy because she is so annoying. When Andrea gave an apple to Miss Daisy as a present, I wanted to say something mean, but I didn't. When Andrea showed everybody the A plus she got on the math quiz, I wanted to say something mean, but I didn't. When Andrea told Miss Daisy how pretty her hair looked, I wanted to say something mean, but I didn't. Andrea wasn't saying anything mean to me either. We both wanted that candy bar. Miss Daisy was happy that Andrea and I were both so nice to each other. When it came time for lunch, she sat us at the table with Ryan and Michael and Emily. I traded Emily my banana and she traded me her potato chips. Did you all bring in your stuff for the art contest? Asked Emily. Miss Hannah is going to judge the winner this afternoon. I had forgotten all about the stupid art contest. Michael said he made a statue out of toothpicks. Ryan said he made a paper mache head. Emily made a collage. Andrea made a mobile with hanging butterflies. Of course. I was the only one who didn't bring in anything. I hate art. Art is stupid. Did you see that art room? Andrea asked. When I brought my mobile in, the place was just a big mess. Of course it's a big mess, Ryan said. Have you ever seen Miss Hannah throw anything away? She can't throw anything away, Michael said. She doesn't have a garbage can. That's exactly what I mean, Andrea said. Miss Hannah just gets more and more stuff and never throws anything away. My mother is a psychologist. She helps people with their problem. And my mother says that people who can't throw anything away have a problem. I was going to tell Andrea that she was the one who had a problem, but I didn't. I wanted that candy bar. You know, everything is an art, Andrea said. Some things are garbage. Maybe Miss Hannah became an art teacher because she couldn't throw anything away. She might be a sick sick woman who needs help. I never thought of it that way, Ryan said. We've got to help her, said Emily. What can we do? asked Michael. I've got an idea, said Emily. Why don't we sneak into the art room during recess and clean it up? When Miss Hannah sees how neat and clean everything is, she will realize she has a problem. That's a great idea, Andrea said. It didn't sound like such a great idea to me. Cleaning things up was no fun at all. I don't like cleaning my room at home. I sure don't want I sure didn't want to clean up the art room, but I didn't want to get into an argument with Andrea either. If we had a fight, I wouldn't get my candy bar. After we finished lunch, the five of us snuck down the hall to the art room. Andrea was right. The place was a big mess. That's when I came up with the greatest idea in the history of the world. You know what? I said. Instead of cleaning this place, we should mess it up even worse. Why would you want to do that? Emily asked. If we really mess it up bad, Miss Hannah will be so shocked that she will realize she has a problem. It sounded like a genius idea to me. Cleaning isn't fun at all, but messing things up is a lots of fun. I'm not sure that's such a good idea, AJ, Andrea said. Sure, it's a good idea, I said. Trust me, AJ, it's not a good idea. Andrea thinks she knows everything. Well, she doesn't know everything. I'm not cleaning this place up, I said. I'd rather go outside for recess. You promised you would help, Andrea said. I did not. Did too. I hate you, AJ. 
That's when Andrea did the dumbest thing in the history of the world. She pushed me. If I knew she was going to do something dumb like that, I could have gotten ready for it. But how was I to know she was going to do something dumb like push me? My foot must have slipped or something because I fell backwards. Right behind me was Miss Hannah's newspaper ball. When I fell backwards, I landed on top of the ball. The ball rolled. I rolled on top of it. Watch out, Emily screamed. My foot hit Andrea's butterfly mobile that was hanging from the ceiling. The butterfly mobile landed on my head. On the floor behind the ball were a bunch of cans of paint. I tried to get out of the way, but I couldn't. When I hit the ground, I hit the paint first. You stupid dumbhead, Andrea shouted. You crushed my butterflies. You pushed me into them. I did not. You fell on them on purpose. I got off the floor. Paint and butterflies were all over me. Red, yellow, blue, green. It was cool. Hey, look, I said. Art is everywhere, Ryan and Michael laughed. How can you make jokes at a time like this? Andrea said. You ruined my mobile. Now I won't win the contest. You're going to be in big trouble, AJ, Emily said. Somebody's coming, Ryan said. Everybody shut up. That's when the door opened. Miss Hannah and Mr. Klutz came in. I was standing there with the paint and Andrea's stupid butterflies hanging all over me. What's the meaning of this? Mr. Klutz asked. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I had to think fast. It's performance art i said everybody looked at me for like a million hundred seconds yeah andrea finally said it's friendship performance art aj and i made it together miss hannah walked around me and looked me over one of the butterflies slid down my head and stopped at the end of my nose it's connecticut friendship performance art i said i think it's fabulous miss hannah said it's so very creative I believe the winners of the art contest are Andrea and AJ. Everybody cheered and clapped. Mr. Clutch reached into his jacket pocket and pulled out two candy bars. I'm so pleased to see the two of you are getting along so well together, he said. I promise you each a little something if you could go a day without fighting. Here's your prize. Congratulations. The candy bar tasted great. Maybe art isn't so stupid after all. After it was all over, I still hated Andrea. Andrea still hated me. Miss Hannah still had a big problem with collecting garbage. I said I would try to be nice to Andrea. She said she would try to be nice to me. And we both said we would try to help Miss Hannah with her problem. But it won't be easy. And that is the end of our book. Wow. Great minds think alike. In the end, they had to get together and think quick on their feet. And you know what? AJ used everything that he had learned and what and that Miss Hannah had taught taught him. So now we're going to get into our riddle of the day. So our riddle of the day was what happened to the man who took a 100 foot dive into a glass of fruit beer? And the answer is drum roll, please. Nothing. It was a soft drink. Do you get it? It was a soft drink. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you'd like to follow along for more adventures, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one.